All right, welcome to the channel, and today we will be talking about the T3 Plus that was sent out from Linsol for me to check out and demo, and they were kind enough to let me offer this up as another giveaway. So uh, once again, if you would like to win these IEMs, the T3 Plus from 10 Hi-Fi, go ahead and leave a comment down below with your latest and greatest track that you're digging on. I'm kind of going to do something with this in the future, so keep that in mind with regarding the, the tracks everyone's posting. So I'm listening to these now. I'm actually listening via the wonderful Griffin from iFi and Bluetooth, of all things. I also was listening to this with, where is it at? I think it's in my other room, but I had uh, a little dongle DAC, and it worked fine with all of them. Anyhow, so let's dive into the sound and what these are all about. And... First off, I think that with these, something to be aware of is they are a single driver IEM, as I recall reading about. I think that's pretty cool actually, just because it's, you know, you can focus in on that one driver and get it to sound the way you want it to sound. So that being said, the highs with these are pretty smooth. They're, they're, they kind of seem rounded off to me, the, but overall, like I actually enjoyed them a lot. In fact, I would say that these are more of a mids and low end emphasis but on regarding the highs they were fine they didn't have like a lot of sparkle or anything like that or um but they were they did the job you could hear what what was being presented i didn't have any kind of sibilance i didn't have any kind of any wonkiness at all in the highs other than the fact that it did seem a little bit rolled off so going into the mids though the mids are god man like they're they kind of remind me of the hd 650s to some level but not completely but you know just to get a reference point they do feel a little mid forward but they're not like like a very strong like detail there like that, that's something i would say across the board as well but we'll get into that in a sec but the the mids were nice they had a nice warmth to them there was a nice overall presence as well and there's a smoothness across the mids as well that i really enjoyed but there does seem to be a little bit of an emphasis in the mids like there are more there's a presence there that's really a really strong presence in the mids and it was enjoyable these are an enjoyable um listen regarding the mids and even the highs being kind of smooth and just overall really nice i will say that there was something with the lows going into the lows <laughs> discussion is that the lows are i'm just gonna say it they're a little bit muddy um so take that for account it's not horrible but they're definitely not like a very super punchy and super like precise sound they're more kind of boomy and have a kind of bloom as well to them so it's not horrible and it's not like oh this is i can't listen to these it's more just that it kind of just has an overall smoothness to it and then the, the lows just kind of bleed into the mids and they have that boomy kind of slightly muddy-ish sound to them and they have the, a bloom to them and with that being said the overall sound signature of these honestly did kind of remind me of the hd 650s uh, from recollection of course i don't have them on hand any longer enjoyment level for me though with these was i mean good like I, outside of what you're getting i mean these kind of just have a nice smooth sound signature they don't have anything that's crazy wrong with them other than i would say the low end being a little bit muddy or bloomy also the highs are can't that roll off can be kind of uh, but it's not bad it's more just that it doesn't have the sparkle that i would personally prefer or like the detail or um being as precise or and same with the lows like if it would be a little more precision and a little more like punchiness instead of bloominess it would have been a little bit better so i think overall sound wise these are pretty enjoyable so with that smoothness and that low end mud kind of mudness or boominess bloomy boominess and then the mids being so uh, forward and, and rich they have a more richness to them or warmth to them and then the the highs being that slightly smoothed off and it being so smooth when it came to listening in noisier environments for whatever reason it did seem to isolate more and then it covered up more even if there was enough isolation i could it, it just helped with isolating or blocking out or or uh, covering up the sound of my surroundings that being said let's go talk about build and aesthetics and what have you 
build of these are pretty good. They're pretty, I mean, the, the unbox experience is pretty fun and nice. I enjoyed that. Uh, 10 Hi-Fi always has a pretty fun and nice uh, unbox experience. The cable is actually pretty good. Actually, it's, it's a little bit plasticky, but it's not, it doesn't hold shape too horribly and it's generally comfortable and nice enough. It's a two pin design for the IEMs into the, or cable into the IEMs. The overall build of the IEMs themselves is a plastic with a really nice design to the, the face plate there. And it has a the cool logo there. And then with the kind of black and gray with a little bit of sparkle to the face plate. And overall build is solid. The the nozzle is pretty good. It has it's a little bit on the, the wide side though for the nozzle. So if you're not careful, you could probably split some of your IEM tips if they have like that harder middle section. Also for your ear for comfort, I can see where that could potentially be a problem because they are pretty wide bore. And if you have a narrow ear canal, it could be problematic. But as far as build though, like they're solid. I didn't have any issue with the build and aesthetically, I think they're kind of aesthetically pleasing. They're, they're a nice looking little IEM and they're then going in from aesthetics to comfort, they go in the ear and they fit in there nicely and I could wear them for a pretty extended amount of time. So they have a design that when it when you put them in your ear it kind of just it sits in there just right and it gives a nice isolation and it also has a kind of really just kind of slots in almost at least for me and honestly I, I could see using these going to a coffee shop kind of transiting around as well and it's, these are like a, a step up as far as the KZ stuff and then for them being single driver is pretty cool and I like the sound of that so use case for that as well is to kind of maybe see the difference between like a single driver that's done pretty decently overall i found these to be a generally good listen like i didn't outside of that the bass being a little bit bloomy they're just a fun easy listening i am like there weren't anything that would make me not want to listen to these are there better iams out there most definitely are there cheaper IEMs that maybe can get come close to these for sure. So who is this for? If you're looking for precise, punchy bass, sparkly highs, probably not for you. If you're looking for maybe a little more mid forward, a little more warmth and a more smooth signature or just something that's, you know, pretty good sounding with no major flaws other than the if you don't like boomy bass or bloomy bass then yeah it could be for you as well i personally found them to be pretty enjoyable overall and just kind of meandering around walking around the neighborhood going to a coffee shop they they sounded good to me like i don't i didn't have any major issues even though they have that rolled off highs and it, it was more of a relaxed sound to me like for me it was a a signature that i enjoyed for not really thinking too heavily about the music or like diving into it, but having it be there and just kind of enjoying it rather than kind of trying to pick it apart and like that. It just had this really kind of easy going sound to me. Okay, future Tyler here. Just wanted to touch on something that I discovered after already doing the video. So luckily I caught it before I uploaded it. But uh, I was talking with another audio enthusiast, IEM enthusiast, and they mentioned to try out these IEMs with the track uh, Low Moon, uh, Loveless I believe is the track, and with that track I did notice that it did pierce the brightness, got a little bit brighter, and then with some other tracks, uh, Miss Ida B um, was the guitar, electric guitar, definitely came piercing through. Uh, so take that into account. The These can, with certain tracks, get bright or get uh, pierce that kind of what I was calling like that rolled off highs or smooth ties the so that does at times where it will kind of pierce through that um, anyhow I do stick to my original experience and thoughts though generally overall this is an easygoing uh, listen for these IMs so yeah back to uh, the video so yeah Hopefully that gives you guys an idea of my experience and thoughts on the lovely T3 Plus from Tin Hi-Fi. And uh, once again, thank you, Linsoul, for sending this out for a demo and offering them up as a, as a giveaway to the community. So, yeah, cheers, everybody, and have a great rest of your evening, afternoon, morning, or middle of the night, if that's what it is. <laughs> All right, have a good one. Cheers.